this is actually a red letter day. Uh, it's very rare that uh, you get an opportunity to start something which is absolutely new. And uh, when you do such a thing, it is bound to be that there would be a lot of naysayers. And to tell you very frankly, when we started in 2016, I myself didn't know about it. In the meantime, we kept on discussing with the Central Regulatory Commission and uh, they came out with a, a document which is the ancillary market documents. We proved to them that how the quality of power is deteriorating with a lot of rooftop solar that is coming into the grid and a lot of electronics which is coming into the grid. The harmonics which no one ever talks of, everyone is worried about the uh, frequency, uh, is something that we need to measure and monitor it and, and can the storage solution be a solution for that uh, challenge. When we looked at the whole thing, we looked at it in totality. We didn't look at it that it would just be a virtual power plant which will generate some 10 megawatt of power for one hour, but it would do multitasking. And that is the uniqueness of this, that the flexibility that the storage provides, whether it is peak off, peak load management, whether it is the quality of power in terms of harmonics, volt war compensation, uh, or, or even the sag in the voltage that takes place in the system. Or it is also in terms of how do you meet the immediate load requirements. We will have a very, very complex grid once the electric vehicle comes in and the penetration of that increases. So I think the project that has been set up over here will do huge amount of pilot work on many of these areas which not many utilities have been able to do. We are fortunate to have excellent partners in AES and Mitsubishi and Fluence who have the know-how and technology for implementing this. Uh, we are fortunate that we have a regulatory system which supports and has the foresight to uh, anticipate that what will be the complexi complexities in the grid and how that needs to be addressed. So I think we are blessed to have such a good ecosystem where everyone is working in tandem. And I think this project is a reflection of how everyone has collaborated and worked together. So four companies from four different parts of the world, uh, from US, AES, uh, Fluence, which is US but has Siemens as a partner from Europe, Mitsubishi from Japan, and then the Tata Power and Tata Power Daily Distribution in India. So we all come over here. This is the melting pot. We have huge support from all the uh, other stakeholders, and I think this is a great, great uh, uh, reflection of how if we can collaborate, we can make really a difference in the way we generate and supply power to our consumer. This will also be uh, something that many of the utilities and many of the other partnerships can look at that how they can collaborate and bring new technologies and new solutions in the Indian power market. And I think uh, the innovation and technology and creativity can uh, really reflect in the benefits that goes to the consumers of India.